so I ask this of those of you who say that you are Holy Ghost worshipers. What Holy are you Ghost saying? Of God in the earth today. Holy Ghost your God in the earth today. Holy the Holy Ghost, Ghost God is the God today. in the earth today. Holy Ghost you walk with him by saying today. words. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this is your Jesus first time here, right. make sure you subscribe. If this Holy isn't your first time Ghost here the and these messages day. are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Tonight, I'm going to speak on the simple path to prosperity. And it begins where you are at, wherever you're at. If you don't have two nickels to rub together whatever that means well then that's where you begin and that's where you start but starting is what matters what if I don't start then I can't progress to having something else a simple pathway it's simple Daniel chapter 11 verse 32 the people that do Say the people that do so you have people that do that means they've started right the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits so we have doing here twice the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits the people that don't won't is that simple enough then I won't do exploits and we're talking specifically about prosperity and here I'm building upon a certain knowledge base that most of you know but if this is your first time here you wouldn't know these things the people that do know their God what God do you suppose we're talking about here at the Holy Ghost Society the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost he is God in the earth today so the people that do know something know someone John chapter 4 verse 24 says God is a spirit and they that worship him say they that worship him so here we have a people that do know their God and they that worship him so we have a people that do worship him this is part of the knowledge base that you should already know and they that worship him so this is a specific group of people that do know their God the people that do know Daniel chapter 11 32 the people that do know their God what do, you, what do you suppose they would do if they did know their God they would worship him God is a spirit and they that do worship him say I do worship him he's my God the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words so the people that do know their God shall be something these people listen these people that worship the Lord their God the Spirit God the Holy Ghost shall be something they that worship him shall be something which means they that don't do shall not know this God they the people that do know the people that don't don't know and they'll never get to this knowledge are you here the people that do know their God shall be something strong and do exploits the Amplified Bible says the people that do know their God shall prove themselves strong and shall do exploits and specifically we're talking about the exploit of prosperity they shall 
be strong meaning they shall be strong in something that the others who don't know their God shall not be strong in now exploit is something that I've spoken on many times and it is the only acceptable form of pecuniary acquisition there's a scripture that says God gives you power to get wealth you're acquiring it listen the exploit will come to you when you know to do and so you who say that you worship the Holy Ghost what do you know to do pretty simple the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and what do I know to do I walk with him by saying words and so I ask this of those who of you who say that you are Holy Ghost worshipers what are you saying immediately something should come up to you as this is what I'm saying because this is how I'm walking with God the Holy Ghost in the earth today is by saying words his words so you who know their God shall prove themselves and do exploits how are these exploits going to be done by speaking in agreement with his word so what scripture are you saying Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18 well I'm saying Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18 it is God that gives thee power to get wealth do you know him as a God who gives you power to get wealth the people that do speak his word will know him as a God who gives them power to get wealth and what kind of power to get wealth God's power to get wealth Godlike power to get wealth is literally in that verse of Scripture and this will expand to do all the exploits that you could possibly need or desire it begins where you are at and it listen it comes to you that's the exploit Ezekiel 12 25 says for I am the Lord I will speak and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass what comes to pass we're talking about the Holy Ghost we're talking about walking with him in the earth by speaking in agreement with his word what if I speak his word the word that I shall speak it shall come to pass what shall come to pass it the word he speaks are you here so what word is coming to pass the word he spoke Amos chapter 3 verse 3 says how can two walk together except they be agreed and the word agreed literally means to say the same thing so if you're saying what God the Holy Ghost has already said I will speak and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass what word shall come to pass that word that you speak Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8 this book what book this book the Bible this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth and I say this every time if it's not out of your mouth where is it it's in your mouth this book in your mouth that's what he's saying this book put it in your mouth this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth but thou shalt meditate therein meditate literally means to say over and over or to mutter I say it I say it thou shalt meditate or mutter the word or say the word day and night 
that seems like a lot that seems like too much what do you mean say it day and night that means when you get up in the morning you begin saying that verse of scripture and then you know the noon time comes around and what are you doing you're gonna say that verse of scripture it is God who gives me power to get wealth and then you know nighttime comes around and it does that on a daily basis and then see day and night and then at night you're going to say that verse of scripture it is God that gives me power to get wealth oh this doesn't work really have you done that have you said his verse of scripture day and night because I have I have proven it and it does work you have to do the people that do know if you don't do it you won't know it you have to do it to know that this works you can believe that it works oh I believe this verse but if you don't do it you won't know it thou shalt mutter or say his word day and night it seems excessive but he did he say you had to believe it no he just said you had to say it he said I have to say it and then what I find interesting is that as you go down here it says thou shalt meditate in the that thou mayest observe to do meaning you can then see how to do it if you don't say it enough you'll never see how to do it and how to walk it out and then he goes on and says and then thou shalt make thy way what prosperous and then thou shalt have good success he said you will say his word if you would but say his word day and night you would see how to do it and you would prosper and be successful right no I want it more complicated that's too simplistic what you want is a more pious religious way something with with a lot more facets to it so that you can pretend that you're somehow more religious but that's just your religious mind Romans chapter 12 and verse 1 I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God may God have mercy on you and your religious mind by the mercies of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice now I could argue this what is the most important part of your body Jesus talked about it quite often your tongue the tongue is part of your body is it not and here it says present your body a living sacrifice so you're going to be presenting your tongue as a living sacrifice and that would be a living sacrifice wouldn't it you got you're going to live from the morning till the night time all day long you're going to be saying and presenting this part of your body your tongue to god a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto god the holy ghost right we're walking with him which is your reasonable service and I like a different translation of that it says spiritual worship so you presenting your tongue to God and how are you presenting your tongue to God you're just gonna stick it up in the air and walk around with it no you're going to be saying his word and particularly just one scripture God gives me power to get wealth it is God who gives me power to get wealth wealth and riches shall be in my house that would be two verses are you here and and how, how long am I going to do that I'm going to do that what like five minutes maybe once in the morning I'll set it twice remember dealing with one guy you know I was trying to trying to get him to go along with us and and he looked at me quite seriously and said I said that this morning I said it in implying that he'd already said that verse of scripture once this morning is that day and night it was he applying Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 I don't think so and therefore he did not see how to do he didn't see it 
the people that do know their God Romans chapter 12 verse 2 and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your religious mind that you may prove what is that good acceptable and perfect will of God so you go from good to acceptable to perfect how how per se do you go from good to acceptable to perfect by presenting your body to God the Holy Ghost which is your spiritual worship so you worship him I worship you Holy Ghost and you say his word it is God who gives me power to get wealth we go from good to acceptable to perfect it's good to have two nickels to rub together it's more acceptable to have two quarters to rub together and perfect would be well whatever that is a lot more than that presenting our body our tongue to God the Holy Ghost James chapter 3 verse 3 behold we put bits in the horses mouths that they may obey us and we turn about their whole body now horses generally are pretty big some of those horses are huge and yet you put a bit in their mouth and you can turn them around they'll go wherever you want them to go he's likening this to your tongue if you change what your the direction of your tongue it will literally turn about your whole body physical healing youth renewal or or, or it will turn about your whole body financial say body financial behold verse 4 behold also the ships which though they be so great and are driven of fierce winds yet are they turned about with a very small helm whithersoever the governor listeth even so the tongue the tongue is like the rudder of a ship and it doesn't matter what's going on with the waves and the wind it will turn about your ship are you here no it's not that important well you're wrong it turns you about from having no coins to rub together to having all coins to rub together say all coins so we're turning about the whole ship I'm turning about the whole ship the simplest path to prosperity is God's word in your mouth but the people that do know their God do what put his word in their mouth these people that do put his word in their mouth will know their God shall be strong prosperous and do exploits Holy Ghost I thank you for blessing these people that they heard your word this evening and that now they do and now they know how to walk with you as a God of prosperity one who causes them to know what it is to be above and not beneath to be the head and not the tail and this is where we shall go says the Spirit Lord and beyond anything that you've ever even imagined you could go and do and we worship you Holy Ghost and we do it together in Jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you you are a God of wealth and I walk with you by speaking in agreement with your word it is God who gives me power to get wealth and wealth and riches shall be in my house in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God